The shaga mushroom with a CH has been used medicinally in China and Russia, Korea and other countries for hundreds of years. IOPS is one of the main bioactive ingredients in this mushroom, which has anti-tumor, antioxidant, antiviral and anti-diabetic activities. This is a giant review paper showing all of the studies on shaga mushroom up until March 2021. This study here looks at the effect of shaga extract on different types of breast cancer cell lines and also tumor bearing mice and it was other active ingredients in the mushroom that were able to kill different types of breast cancer cells in the Petri dish, but they didn't interfere with chemotherapy drugs. And Shaga's working by activating AMPK and, and inhibiting mTOR, so that's the same pathway as fasting, which we know is can be anti-cancer. Shaga also lowers neuroinflammation by inhibiting INOS, which is the inducible nitric oxide enzyme, the bad one, and this sets off inflammation and Shaga blocks this. The good nitric oxide pathway is ENOS, endothelial nitric oxide, and this comes out in the blood vessels and relaxes them, and Shaga mushroom doesn't interfere with a good nitric oxide pathway. Like anything else, too much shaga is a bad thing, as shown by this Muppet here in this study who took 15 grams of shaga mushroom every single day for three months and gave himself an acute kidney injury. So again, always uh, be sensible with medicinal plants and don't spoil it for everybody else who wants to use them responsibly. Join me for more videos as we go through the rest of these medicinal mushrooms in this box from Kappa Health. Kappa Health and I don't have any affiliations financially, we're just friends and have known each other for about four years. So feel free to comment and thanks for watching.